Products from almost 50 companies will now bear a new brand mark to raise awareness of local products. Drinks, porcelain plates and even wellness products, these items are the first to carry the Made with Passion mark. A diverse range of brands has been selected to take part in this national marketing campaign. They range from iconic brands to newcomers. A participating firm says this helps it introduce more customers to its Made in Singapore items. It also provides a much-needed boost to local firms who are experiencing high business costs and intense competition with global players. Through my experience in interaction with customers, a lot of them doesn't know that this product is made in Singapore and that is something that we wanted to be proudly uh, known that you know in this industry even though uh, there are a lot of maybe Singapore brands that come and go uh, but it's not easy to actually uh, develop you know products and produce these products here. The Singapore Tourism Board says it's working with trade associations to support more brands. It's uh, also reaching out to various distribution channels like supermarkets and e-commerce platforms to carry these items. And for a closer look, we're joined by Lynette Pang from the Singapore Tourism Board, as well as Chiu Li Ching from the Association of Small and Medium Enterprises. Thanks for joining us, ladies. Uh, Lynette, let's go to you first. Why begin this initiative with lifestyle brands? Well, first of all, um, we believe very strongly that we need to uplift the entire local brand sector. And we want to start small and scale fast. And why lifestyle brands? Well, they are very relatable and they appeal to people of all ages. And um, the categories that we are looking at in terms of the lifestyle brands are beauty and wellness, fashion and accessories, homeware and decor, and packaged F&B. And of course, local brands have come of age and there's great breadth and depth. And how we hope to help them is with a, um, a very extensive marketing campaign, as well as partnerships to get them more shelf space to drive greater awareness. Mm, Lynette, you know, this initiative also aims to get brands to partner up. So how would this strategy work in practice? Well, what we are doing is, uh, first of all, we're trying to build a community of brands. And what we do is we, um, with that, there's a lot of conversations going on. There's a lot of inspiration going on. So for example, this morning, two brands actually got together, um, Brass Lion uh, Distillery and Griffin. And what they've done is it started off with a simple conversation. And now what we have is a new product um, innovation. So I think it's important to bring brands together so that they're exposed to each other's um, innovation and products. And from there, they can start a conversation to get partnerships going and new product innovations going. Li Ching, let's uh, bring you in now. What, what is the single biggest benefit for brands to have this brand mark? Well, you know, brands need fame. And the only way to get fame is to be known. So it is best when people talk good things about you. You know how we are in Singapore, when we hear of some place that is good for food, we'll travel from east to west just to get to it. So you can see from here that, you know, it is very, very important that brands get known. But it takes a lot of resources and effort to do that. So that's why we think that this uh, Made with Passion initiative is great because it is going to help amplify the awareness of local brands. And I think this also speaks of the maturity of our local market. You know, if our brands, if the Singapore brand is well accepted and recognized overseas, I think it would be great if that same recognition is replicated also in our local market. Mm, and I now, at ESME, um, Sorry, Li Ching, please the go association ahead. Of small, yeah. The Association of Small and Medium Enterprise um, certainly welcomes this move because we think that um, it is great in encouraging local brands to pursue their passion, pursue their dreams, and build bigger brands as the time goes on. Um, Li Ching, what, what's uh, been the feedback uh, like from other companies beyond you know, the first 48 businesses? 
Well, I think, you know, once this is uh, rolled out, um, I think you can expect that more brands will want to come on board because this trust mark is in a way a batch of recognition, of acceptance and of the quality of our products. And, um, you know, in the Association of Small and Medium Enterprise, we have for many years been recognising brands through our Singapore Prestige Brand Awards. And now with this, we think that, you know, there will be even more opportunities for local brands to get recognised. And I think that that is the best way to build the awareness, to build that whole ecosystem, to allow our local brands to flourish and grow. I have one last question. I think I'll go to Lynette for this one. Uh, what plans are there for brands beyond the domestic market? Well, um, the domestic market is very important currently. So there are um, substantial resources focused on that. But having said that, uh, these are great brands with great stories. And we are always using these stories um, from STB's perspectives, to really tell the story of Singapore. And of course, moving ahead when borders open and we can do a little bit more marketing, marketing we will definitely be marketing these great Singapore brands all over the world. All right, thank you so much. Lynette Pang from the Singapore Tourism Board and Chu Li Ching from the Association of Small and Medium Enterprises.